All right, I'm here with Chef. Um, he's not feeling that well, but he's decided to do an interview with, with us anyway. Thank you very much, Chef. No problem, anytime. All right, you have a reputation of being like the nicest guy in uh, eSports, right? Uh, White Rose is very nice too, and Demaga. Oh God, that's like the perfect nice guy answer. You don't even admit that you're the nicest guy. Okay, I get it, I get it. You're pretty good, you. We're gonna, we're gonna ask you a series of hypothetical, moral, ethical dilemmas that are like kind of difficult. Okay. I want to know what you think about them because you know everyone wants to know how you can spin it in a way that's okay. like super nice. Okay. So honest answers then. Yeah, I want you to give honest answers. Well, first, are you honestly a nice guy? Sometimes. So sometimes you're actually like a mean guy. Sometimes. What's the meanest thing you've ever done? Oh. Okay, it's not that mean, I guess. They're probably meaner things. This is what comes to mind just most. Starcraft two events in Brood War. I like went to a land and didn't tell anyone I was chosen. So like no one knew who I was. I chosen played... was his ID in Brood War. Chosen. Yeah. And I played this one guy named Waffles. And halfway through the match, I had my friend go up and tell him, "You're playing Chosen." And when he told the guy, the guy started crying because he was like so sad that he had like first round of this tournament. That's the meanest thing you've ever done. I probably didn't mean it, but like I said, it's stuck up too late. Okay. All right. Okay, let's just get started on this, okay? All right. Who, who would you say is a really good friend of yours? Uh, I'll go with Destiny. Okay, Destiny. Let's say there's a hypothetical. You have to kill Destiny or 100,000 people, random, okay? Who, which one would you pick and why? So 10,000 random people? 100,000 random people. 100,000 random people or, or Destiny. Or Steven Bunnell. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec. This should be very easy. Easy? Yeah, Steven is dead. Oh, you'd kill Steven over 100,000 yeah. random people? Yes. What about 10,000 random people? Okay, that's, that's closer. Okay. That's closer. Um, it comes down to the line of just how much worth Steven is the human race. Yeah, so I want, I want you to name at what point, at how many people is he worth? Like. <laughs> How many random people in the whole globe? Yeah, yeah, because clearly Steven between 10 and 100,000, there's a number where you believe Stephen Bonnell is worth as many lives. So I want, you to, I want you to name that number. Name a specific number. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not that, it's not that high. I'm going to go with something like 18,000. 18,000? All right. 18,000. Okay, so 19,000, he's dead. Ah. 17,000, he lives. Okay. All right, okay, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Okay. All right. Let's say that you have a button that if you push the button, you get a million dollars, but 10,000 people die. Would you push the button, and how many times would you push it? I wouldn't push it at all. Okay, how about 1,000 people die? Still wouldn't push it. One person dies? Still wouldn't push it. You would never push the button? Never push the button. Okay, what if it really, really, really annoys 10,000 people? And I still get a million dollars? Yeah. I'm pushing that button. A lot? Uh, what? Okay, how about, how about 10,000 people lose one limit random? Ha, <laughs> never, oh, that's trickier. Probably not still though. You wouldn't? No. Okay, what if they're all just bad people? Like prisoners? Well, I mean, we can raise a lot of ethical questions about the legal system, but let's just say they did crimes, yes. So, they did crimes for sure? Yeah, but they're not like sometimes they're not like great. Like sometimes it's like petty larceny, and sometimes they're murders, murderers. You know, like, Still doesn't work. No, no button pressing. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right. If uh, you know, have you seen Minority Report? I think so. Okay, so let's say that there's a way to predict people in the future doing crimes. Would you lock them up before they did the crimes, or would they actually have to do the crimes for you to impose a punishment? And we're a hundred percent sure this works. Um, yes. Okay. Like, let's say there's someone that commits a murder tomorrow. Yeah. And you have a choice to kill him today. Would you kill him today, or would you have to wait to see if he does it? But it's like you're 100% sure that he will. I'm okay with locking him up for it. No, but you have to kill him. I have to kill him? Yeah. Just one for one? It's like whatever crime that they would commit is done to them the day before they do it. Eh, I'm okay with watching, I think. What? You would wait, you wait it up. You don't think it's morally just, just right to off, punish someone 
Yeah. Until they've done it? Yeah. Just because I'm sure there's some way around it where, like, this guy was actually killing... Like, okay, this is, this is the part where it gets tricky. Because if someone is about to kill someone else, and you know this a day beforehand, what if you're about to find out that the other guy is about to kill, like, two people? And, like, you, you kill this other guy, so the other guy lives and kills two people, and you're like, I should have killed that guy. Okay. We didn't see it because the future was, like, double-changed and tricky. Yes. All right, okay, I didn't think of that, but, uh, you know, okay, well, well I'll, I'll accept it. Um, all right, uh, if you could have any superpower, what superpower would it be? And why? This is not really an ethical question. I just kind of want. It's kind of interesting, and I want to know what it would be. What it would would it be? Probably just be immortal. Immortal? Yeah. Like the one, the unit, or no, no. Characteristic. I just never die. Oh, okay. Well, that's not that bad. Why? Well, I just would never tell anyone that I was immortal. I'd try and live under the radar, but like slowly amass a giant empire, kind of control everything from behind the scenes as much as I could. I think that's that'd be pretty really sinister, fun. man. I I didn't know you that you had that in you. I could control it for good. Oh, you would be, you would do, that's what all the dictators say before they get corrupted with power. All the other dictators aren't immortal, though. Okay, that's true. Okay. All right, um, I'll give you a few more. Let's say you're driving in a car, and let's say you, you, ha you have a wife, and you love her very much, and uh, you run into the, a car, and two people are trapped under it, and it's your wife, and it's another dude. And that dude is having an affair with your wife. Okay. Oh, crap. Now, you can save, like, there's, the ambulance gets here in 10 minutes, and both of them are unconscious. You can save either both of them, or just your wife. And, obviously, if you save your wife, the affair just stops, because the other guy dies. If you save both of them, the affair continues. But you and, don't know about it? Well, you know that they're having an affair, yes. So, and it would continue and screw up your marriage. What but, would you do? But if I kill them, what if I kill them, then for sure my marriage is saved? Or no? Well, if you kill, if you'd save from that guy. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, I'd save them both. You'd save them both. Got to get rid of her. Like later, not not kill her. But. What if he was manipulating her, like much more than she was manipulating him? Then I can get back some other way. Like that's it's a little bit obvious. Like, so you'd always save both of them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Another car driving one. Let's say you're driving and you run into someone and you cause a lot, a lot of accident and like let's say someone dies, okay? okay? And it's your fault, okay? Okay. Now let's say this other woman was driving at the same time and also was involved in the accident, but she thinks it's her fault. Would you let her take the fall for you? She would have to go to jail. Or you go to jail. And you have a family that you have to support. She thinks it's her fault. Yeah, and she would just totally just take the fall for it because she thinks it's her fault. She's like, oh my god, I caused the it's an accident. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I'm going to go to jail. I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. You know. And would you let her take the fall for you or not? That's really tricky. It's a really good one. Um, if I had to lie about it, I wouldn't do it. But if I could get away with it, like, are you sure? I might have caused it. And she's like, no, I'm 100% sure. I'm like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're right. So, okay. So if you would let her do it, if you didn't have to actively lie? Maybe she's right. Maybe I'm wrong. No, 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 no. You can't worm your way out of this one. You <laughs> caused the accident. We know that for a fact. Everyone only, knows it? Only you know that. Oh. And no one else knows it. So if you were to just let her take the fall for it, you would be just clean. No one would ever know. Mm. But, she, uh, but she thinks it's her and, and no one else has any other information. <clears throat> Tough one. Um, I would probably say that I think I did it, but I wasn't sure. So you'd go halfway. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Last one. Last one. Okay. I got a family. I got a family. Okay. The last one. There's a mad bomber, and he's gonna go kill a lot of people. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the only way you could find out where he is and what where what his like motives are and like how to stop him is to torture his perfectly nice wife, who's pregnant. Would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, despite the fact that usually torturing doesn't really lead to like the best answers scientifically, like, and this guy's gonna kill a lot of people. Well, he's a, he, I mean, like, the authorities might stop him, you don't know. He's like planning oh. he's gonna go kill someone. I'm not torturing him. Okay, but let's, but if you were 100% sure he was gonna kill a lot of people, you would do it? If I'm 100% sure he's about to kill like 200 perfectly innocent pregnant women. 
No, no, no. Just then, it's just random. He's just random go, like, in, in, in a random city. Like the same random people that Stephen Bennell is worth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could torture her because those random people. So you would you would torture her for that information for the greater good. For the greater good. Okay. All right. Well, um, I think that's all of the ones I can think. Of. Oh, okay. I got one. Let's say, let's say you're sitting in a chair in the front of an uh, event. Let's, I don't know, you're watching some sort of sporting event. And let's say someone really important comes up next to you and is like, oh, I want that chair. Um, I deserve it because I'm super important. Let's say you're just a regular fan, you're not a chef. And uh, that person wants the chair. Would you give, your, give up your chair or do you think it's like, it's, it's my chair? Like, no, just go find your own. And there are no other chairs free? No, they're not. My well, chairs. no, there's chairs free, but they're like way in the back. It's like the horrible chairs. Yeah. And I don't know this, like celebrity guy. You know him, yeah, you know him. So he's like some big shots yeah. in a sporting event. Yep. Is he going to give me anything, maybe? Hmm. No, he just he thinks he deserves it and wants you to get up. Ah. Like, I, not like in a super dickish way, like just like, you know, like, you know, I'm so-and-so, so, you know, can I have this, can I have a seat? I'd probably get up. You'd get up and give him the seat? Would you change your opinion of him? Um, what if he was a dick to you? What if he was like, dude, get up, come on. I mean, I'm, you know, super important. I'm chef. I want the seat. Then I probably wouldn't get up. I'd be like, no, oh, bless you, bless. Something like that. Okay. All right, well, okay. That's all the ones I can think of. Thank you. Uh, hopefully, uh, this doesn't change anyone's opinion of you. I'm sick, uh, so I can't be held liable when you're sick. All right, okay. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you.